Hello everybody, Chris here, and today we're going to be talking about WordPress and how you can add a contact form to your site that also has the anti-bot mechanism of reCAPTCHA. Uh, so what reCAPTCHA does, I'm sure you've seen it a million times on different websites across the internet, is uh, basically add in an extra element to the page that bots aren't supposed to be able to access and click on so easily. Um, so basically, it's there to verify that you are in fact a human. And we can combine that really easily with contact form 7 in WordPress. So here I'm going to go to my WordPress site. Of course, this is all local. ChrisTutorials.dev is in a real site. Um, if you don't want to check out one of my actual websites, ChrisNafar.com. And uh, here we'll go ahead and log in as normal. So that's wp-admin if you didn't already know that. And from here we can go to plugins, install new, and we're going to be looking for contact form 7, which by far and away is the most popular uh, contact form plugin for WordPress with good reason. It is actually really good and really easy to work with. So here we'll just activate the plugin. Not now, last pass. Give it a minute and we have it there available for us. Um, now initially this is actually the only plugin we're going to need I believe um, because reCAPTCHA is actually built straight into contact form or rather the short code to add a reCAPTCHA is. But what you'll notice is that when we open up the form, um, just contact form 1, you can have as many as you want and actually go click on this reCAPTCHA button uh, you'll notice it says to use reCAPTCHA you basically need the API key pair and that's because reCAPTCHA is a service that's provided by Google so you need the keys associated with basically your Google account or your reCAPTCHA account um, in order to make that work. So the page we actually add in the keys is the integration page but uh, we'll have to actually pick these up from google.com slash reCAPTCHA which uh, should pay, bring you to a page pretty much like this. I'll go ahead and hit reCAPTCHA here, and we are going to be creating a new site here. So you can label it whatever you want. Uh, just call it that. The domain might as well. And if you want it to alert your owners, uh, alert their owners if there's an issue with the site, uh, usually a good idea, as long as you don't mind the extra messages. So here we have a site key and a secret key, uh, which is something you really shouldn't show on the internet, but obviously I'm not using this for something live, so it's okay. Or is it? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so I'll go to reCAPTCHA, and we're gonna put in this information, the site key and the secret key. Hit save. Okay. And now it should be good to go. All we really need to do is add it to the form now and then make a page for the form. So here we go ahead, hit reCAPTCHA, insert tag. Uh, if you want to add any extra classes there, you saw it was possible. Uh, that would be IDs and classes for CSS cascading style sheets. Uh, don't worry about it if you don't know what I'm talking about though. And we can go to pages. Oh wait, we have to say first, of course, almost forgot. So that saves the contact form to the WordPress database. And now we can add a new page if you don't have one already. Give it a name, contact is fine. And we need to copy this short code for the contact form over into the uh, page body. Go ahead and hit publish or preview. I'm just gonna go straight to publish. Um, once again, testing site, kind of irrelevant if uh, I mess up. Now we can just hit view page, open this up, and we have a contact form, of course unedited, with name, email, subject, your message, and then at the very bottom, the reCAPTCHA tool, which, if this was a live website, would greatly reduce the amount of bot spam you'd actually be getting via email. Um, now, uh, depending on how your web server is set up, uh, the email may not actually work at this point. You may need to uh, set up a plugin that basically enables you to uh, 
have your messages send out through an SMTP server, for instance, if you're doing your email through Google accounts or Zoho Mail, um, you can basically uh, point your server at those uh, SMTP services in order to have mail send. Or you can um, install something like Postfix on your web server to basically bring up an email server and have your own server do email, though from what I hear that's a pain in the butt. Uh, but probably in a very soon feature video, uh, we'll talk about using services like Google or Zoho Mail it's a, a, for their SMTP servers in order to make this form work. So until then, I've been Chris. I hope you found this tutorial pretty helpful. Um, just a point here, there's a lot of extra uh, fields you can add into your form and you add it just in the same way as the reCAPTCHA. So let's say you wanted to have a number, you just hit number, fill in the different uh, fields and it adds it to your contact form. Okay, but back to the conclusion. I've been Chris. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. Um, you can check out my site at chrisnavar.com and I'll see you in my next video.